Hey, what's going on guys? It is Kilo One back at you with another cool gun video. Now it's been a while. I understand guys. You guys are probably like wondering where the heck do we go? Did we die? Did we just fall off? Yeah, it's been a while. A lot of crazy stuff. Justin, he did officially move out. He bought his own house. I was trying to help him out around the house, helping him fix things, upgrade things. So we've been really busy, especially him. He's been really busy. You know guys, this is not our full-time job. We're a very small YouTube channel. Uh, please help us out like subscribe share the crap out of this and hit that notification you know that little ding dong thing yeah supposedly if you hit subscribe we'll get another uh viewer so that's kind of cool right all right so let's go ahead and take a look here this is a ruger mark IV 2245 light i really wanted this for a while i've been looking at it for a while and never really picked it up so i got an opportunity to pick it up in a pretty interesting color but let me stop talking let's go ahead and take a look turn this around now all right before we get into it your normal paperwork a nice little thank you from ruger and it usually has like a 20 percent off coupon code this is for joining nra nobody gives a crap about them because they don't care about you your atf freaking fed boy bullshit and then your accessories and their i guess pro center or their st online store so that's what that is and then your manual Guys, I really recommend reading you guys the manual. You probably, you guys probably already know a lot, probably more than me about this firearm, but always recommend to just to skim through it, maybe learn something that you didn't know. Toss that. All right, so cool thing is, I have this crappy little red dot that I found laying around. I haven't really put it on yet, but yeah. Uh, that's invalid anyways. Um, so this is the Ruger Mark IV. 2245 light empty you can tell like anybody cares i'm not going to shoot you by accident right all right now this is absolutely amazing this is super light i mean this is a handy gun um if you can go backpacking plinking shooting around having the kids shoot it is super accurate uh as what i've heard we're gonna be doing a shooting test and review here soon very very soon on this firearm take a look at uh, some of this uh, superficial features or features outside and we'll take a look at what went into this amazing the plinker 22 or a varmint 22 whichever one you like so it is threaded half by 28 i believe so and does come with the third protector and a crush washer as you can tell it does come with lightning cuts on both sides it looks like it's tapered a little bit. Uh, has a little nice, nice little finish on it. So it's tapered. Um, it does come out with uh, blackout sight, so blackout front and blackout rear. I did change this out for a high vis sight. It was actually really cheap. It was like about twenty five dollars. Um, really, really affordable. I picked that up a lot clearer uh, than just your black on black. Ruger Mark IV logo right there. Twenty two LR Prescott Arizona. Um, and it does come with two magazines and uh, now you do have that easy loading lever to pull down to easily access um, or easily press down your rounds i love these that's what that's the cool things about 22s is pushing this down and actually easily feeding it and reloading it pretty quick on the fly okay uh this is your slide release or slide locking lever slide release whatever you want to call it very easy to use you don't have to really come off your grip all that much to actuate it so have pretty small hands. Um, it's actually really easy to actuate. Go ahead and pull that back. You don't have to come off your grip at all to actuate it. Pull it down right now. Bam. It does come with a 1913 rail or Picatinny rail. It is metal or aluminum, which is kind of cool. Thank God they didn't add plastic. Um, and then it does have ambi safeties, kind of like a 1911. Uh, really easy to actuate. Uh, good clicking sound. Um, so it's very audible. Uh, very easy to manipulate, no hang-ups. It's not hard to control or put on safety or take off safety. Really, really easy. And then you have your mag release. It's not ambi, but you can switch it from each side. As I'm ready, I have it on the left side. It is very easy to manipulate and capture right there. Super easy. Very plungery. Um, good response on it. No dinginess there with the springs at all. Um, so the lower is polymer. It helps lighten that up a little bit. Now, here's what's cool about this. You know how 
the older marks, Mark three, Mark two. You know how pain in the butt it was to take this down. You have to do this weird thing down here, um, with like where a 1911 spring would be a handle safety uh, spring. Now they don't have that anymore, right? It was a pain in the butt. You had to like do some type of magic, uh, dance around a fire, uh, say a couple of like you know holy words and bless it, and then maybe it'll pop out. Well, cool thing about this is there's a button right here. Look how easy this is. So all you have to do is click on the safety. Go ahead and press this in. And pull apart. Guys, that freaking easy. And the cool thing is, it comes all the way apart for easy cleaning. Now this is super clean as it's supposed to be. And there's your hammer and your lower, your sear, and all your innards on the lower receiver pretty freaking cool right you guys don't have to battle this out it's almost like battling out every freaking time you have to take this apart and cleaning it is a nightmare i am so glad did this i don't know why they didn't think of this like a billion years ago all right guys same thing putting this back together push that in the front line up that hole push down super easy very easy and i love that breeze taking this down and cleaning it um, like I said, it does come with black, uh, blacked out front and rear. Um, I did put that high vis. I'll put a link down below on the Amazon store, and you guys can pick up one of the other things. I believe they're like twenty five bucks or so, or twenty one dollars. They're they're not expensive at all. Super easy to change out. Get an Allen key, pop that out, put the new one in. Bada bing, bada boom. Super easy, right? Um, so the box doesn't come like this. I did a half dingy job on the fly. I bought this foam cutout from Amazon because um, I knew I was going to have some type of optic or maybe not an optic at all. So I bought this foam, foam and cut it out uh, right in the kitchen. Made a hum humongous mess. Wife got pissed off. So maybe, you know, you guys do in the garage or something. But cut this out myself. So it does come with two. I have an extra. I bought an extra one, uh, extra magazine uh, with a different uh, base plate. This is by TK. They make really good uh, 22 and Ruger aftermarket parts. I recommend them. Uh, a little bit on the pricier side, but they are very, very good quality. Now, the only gripe that I have about this gun, okay, is sometimes it doesn't feed. It doesn't like feeding. Um, it, it will hang up. Uh, it feels like the rounds are loose or they pivot upwards or don't even pivot at all and they'll be stuck downwards. It's, it, it's really weird. I'm not sure if you guys have a fix to that. Any type of answer, please let me know in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get into the specs. Pretty cool, right? Uh, I bought this for about $500, I believe. Five bills for this. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look into the technical stuff, which everybody loves, right? Is the magazine coming in a 10 plus 1 capacity? Um, and the, uh, the so the receiver material is aluminum, right? It's a 22. You don't need anything crazy type of alloys or steel. It's just aluminum. Cuts down the weight too, which is great. Uh, the barrel length from the chamber is 4.40 inches. Uh, lower, like I said, plastic is polymer. Checker 1911 style grips. Now you can change these out for 1911 aftermarket grips, which are cool. I might change that for. I don't know, maybe wood grips, maybe not. Maybe G10 grips, who knows. And this one is the gold anodized finish. The width is 1.22 inches. And the rear sight is adjustable right here. You do have adjustment, flathead screwdriver on both sides, elevation and windage. So you guys can adjust that if need be. Overall length, um, so I'm guessing from muzzle to tail, is 8.40 inches height from the magazine well all the way to the top i'm guessing where the sight is that is 5.50 grooves six twist is one and sixteenth right-handed um that's kind of typical uh available in california <laughs> no uh, available in massachusetts nope uh and then the suggested retail on here is $6.99. Guys, if you could buy it for $6.99, I feel really bad for you guys. Uh, don't, if you find it for $6.99, please don't buy it for that much. Cool thing we went over, just a really quick recap. Simple one button takedown for quick release and easy field strip, proper chamber to muzzle cleaning. Pressing a button in the back, like I said, the button right here. And the back of the frame allows the barrel receiver assembly to tilt up and off the grip frame without the use of tools, right? As I showed you before, I demonstrated. Very easy. I freaking love that feature. Thank you, Ruger. Thank you. Finally, 
Comfort Precision Molded polar Palmer Grip Frame with serrated front strap and checkered back strap. So, it is checkered. I mean, these are just lateral lines. Nothing too crazy. Now, these are like uh, basically, basically like pyramid checkering. Uh, aggressive, not too aggressive. If you're wearing a glove, you're not going to feel it at all. It's, it, it's, it's very minimal. Very, very minimal checkering. You're not going to feel it. Features a lightweight ventilated aerospace grade aluminum receiver and tensioned stainless steel barrel, uh, barrel stainless steel, and then you get the leading cuts on the receiver. Cold hammer forged barrel for results in ultra precise rifling that provides exceptional accuracy and longevity. So that's pretty cool. I did not know, but it's cold hammer forged. Uh, a lot of people do that. It's not as tedious of a process as it used to be back in the day. So um, most barrels, I should say, are cold hammer forged uh well not the crappier ones but like you know mid-tier ergonomic bolt stop it's checkered 1911 style grip panels for great uh appearance and comfortable non-slip hold so they are rubberized guys uh for easy hold internal cylindrical bolt construction ensures permanent sight to barrel alignment and high accuracy potential than conventional moving slide designs so that is pretty freaking interesting guys uh contoured ejection port and easy to grasp bolt years allow a durable and reliable operation around at round after round uh, accurate sight sighting system features adjustable rear and factor installed picatinny rail for easy mounting of optics. Guys, um, I might be putting like a like a cheap burst or something on there. Who knows? Maybe I'll just keep it iron sights, but that is a very good feature and it's metal. Ambidextrous manual safety can be converted to left side only with included washers. So that's what I was, guys. That was my mistake. This is for if you only want left side safety instead of ambi, you do have that option. Features a conveniently located push button magazine release on the left side of the frame. So bam, bam. Magazine drop free on release with a convenient reloading. Cool thing about this, it lunges, right? Bam. Yeah, so that's kind of cool, right? It's like for dirt, grime, and stuff. There is a little plunger right here that is spring activated right here. You guys can see. So it's compressed when you have the magazine locked in. And we, when you um, hit the magazine release, boom, it launches that magazine. That's kind of cool, guys. All right, magazine disconnect prevents discharge when the magazine has been removed. I could care less about that. I really don't like magazine uh, disconnects. Um, only, well, I mean, I guess it really matters on defensive pistols, something like a 20, for a 22. I mean, if you're going to use it as a 22, I mean, I'm not going to judge you, but I don't like them. Um, there's numerous reasons why I could get into, but they're, they're a nuisance and could be dangerous. Also includes two 10 run magazines. We'll be testing this out here soon, very, very soon. I'll be coming out uh, with another shooting video in about a week. In between, we're gonna do another review here, right? I just picked this bad boy up. I'm not gonna tell you much about it, but it's by Springfield. Could you guess what type of 1911 this is? If you can, put in the comments down below, but we'll be coming out full review with this bad boy. I just picked this up today. Um, so make sure you check it out. All right, guys. Well, I really hope you enjoy this review here. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for hanging in there with us. I know we haven't came out with a video for a while. We've been super busy, but we'll be pumping out videos here moving forward. A gaming video, uh, maybe some couple of Halloween themed goofy stuff. Uh, if you guys want another whiskey pod podcast, let us know down in the comments down below exactly what you want. We'll be doing range reviews, uh, ballistic testing, ammo testing, and other guns that we have purchased from hunting rifles, which should be coming up here soon so we might have that next week as a new hunting rifle uh that is budget friendly but doesn't have budget features so we will we'll have that down below we'll put it like a thumbprint or a little bit more detail uh probably end of this week or coming up next week but we appreciate guys we love you thank you so much for staying with the kilo one family and freedom on mm -hmm.